Hello, my name is Genia and I'm a concert pianist, composer and a founder of Piano Yoga Method. In 2009, I published my book, Piano Yoga Book, Transform Your Hands, a complete 10-week course of piano exercises. However, the way I came to this uh, started much earlier, started in 2000. The book itself, these exercises are quite groundbreaking and quite different from anything which you may came across. And uh, during this year, so the book was published in 2009, and now I'm recording this video in 2020, I was asked by many uh, musicians, professional and amateur, to create a video course just to clarify certain elements in those exercises. So I've decided to do it now during a second lockdown. So I'm recording this video in London. And if you come across this video on YouTube, uh, you can find out more about my method in, on our website, piano-yoga.com and all our social media channels, which we will put underneath this video. However, the reason for this was to uh, start a new challenge, challenge which we offer on our website again, piano-yoga.com, for those of you who want to have a structured guidance in a course. So I took a preliminary section and broke it in several days, which every new, with every new day introducing a new exercise. However, I thought that it may be interesting to some of you know how uh, I came up creating piano yoga uh, because it wasn't that one day I suddenly woke up and I thought, hmm, I'll create piano yoga exercises. Not at all. And I have quite petite hands and I was told that certain repertoire I shouldn't be playing. So for example, Rachmaninoff Rhapsody on Paganini Variation, I was tried I was asked never to even think of playing. And of course, when I was a student, all I wanted to do is to play Rachmaninoff Rhapsody. And to cut the long story short, I uh, got a date with the orchestra. I had to go on the stage and perform. Conductor asked me, what would I like to perform? And I said, of course, I would like to play Rachmaninoff Rhapsody without realizing what I was getting into. Then I had a date. I then went and opened the music and score and I realized how difficult it was. I realized that the stretches were quite big for my hands, quite large, but also I haven't, uh, at that time, I didn't have the capacity, the strength required to play all those chords and stamina. However, I was really passionate about playing and performing. And in my mind, I was convinced that there is a course, piano yoga course, which exists. And um, it wasn't actually piano yoga, the course, sorry, exists. And I was um, so sure that this course for uh, stretching the hands exists that I went to libraries, I looked on the internet, and although I could find a separate exercises, I couldn't find one coherent method which would take me from A to B. And to cut the long story short, my deadline was coming and I realized either I have to pull out or create the exercises myself. So this is how I came up designing these exercises and the reasons I call piano yoga because at that time I was doing a lot of yoga uh, as a professional, as an amateur, sorry. Later I became a professional yoga teacher because I was so passionate about yoga. And, and I thought, why wouldn't I use ideas from my uh, private personal yoga practice, which I apply to my whole body why wouldn't I use them for my piano playing? And to cut the long story short, I started experimenting, designed the exercises, and indeed I managed to increase my stretch, so it went from C and maybe and D, so now I can kind of reach C to E, but what was more interesting, the strengths of my fingers dramatically increased. 
And at that time, I had a lot of students already and they were all quite curious because my studio was full of these pieces of paper with different exercises. They asked uh, to try. So that allowed me to experiment a lot and adjust some of the exercises. So the, the book now has a section for large hands and small hands. So I adjusted some of the exercises and that's how this method was conceived. So first, the book itself consists of four parts, uh, preliminary, stage one, stage two, stage three. Initially, it was stage one and stage two. That was exercises which I created for myself. Later, I added uh, in stage one a version for people with large hands because I thought they also could benefit from the method. Later, then, I added um, a stage three for advanced players, partly because I was bored with exercises from stage one and two, and partly because I wanted to take the method further. However, what I didn't realize at the time, that certain things which were so obvious to me were not obvious to other musicians, not only amateur musicians, but even professional. And all this came out through me trying and showing these exercises to my colleagues and my students. Hence, I created preliminary stage, which is now, only now I realize, is absolutely vital in understanding piano yoga method, piano yoga playing method, exercises of this method. So I'm inviting you to embark together with me on this everyday challenge where I will be introducing one exercise a day and you can try it and put it and to use and see how this can benefit your playing. From my experience, people who did it for 14 days notice a very big difference in their sensation, in their hands. Uh, the hands became stronger and those who did it for 21 day that also uh, almost offered, especially for beginners, a dramatic transformation. Initially, I wasn't um, planning to introduce this method for beginners at all. I only wanted preliminary stage to show uh, advanced, intermediate to advanced users how they need to approach the exercises. And also I wanted to work more on a balance between the brain, on a connection between the brain and the fingers. However, because I had some of my very devoted uh, beginner students, they asked me to, to try. And after they tried it, I noticed that their um, strengths increased dramatically. Some of the exercises from preliminary stage, even those uh, already stretched, increased the span, the hand span. And again, their understanding of the fingers and how the fingers work uh, increased and changed dramatically. Um, and therefore, this uh, series preliminary stage, I would say they would suit to musicians of all levels. For beginners, it's, I would say it's a must because if they implied between 14 to 21 days, they would see a dramatic change in the way they uh, play the piano and they treat the instrument and they will also notice if they do the exercises correctly, the um, big change in their fingers. The fingers basically will become stronger and hands will become more flexible. Uh, advanced to uh, intermediate to advanced players, I would urge you to do this method if preliminary stage, sorry, if you want to embark on further stages because it teaches you how exactly to approach the exercises later on. If you just start playing exercises with your traditional way of playing, they would not be that beneficial and it may be just a waste of time. And therefore, I don't think you should really spend your time embarking on that method, on exploring this method. I mean, the worst which could happen, you may not agree with this, but from my experience, especially with professional musicians, uh, many of them uh, got quite keen on it. I personally use it every day, almost every day, um, 
especially in the period after I haven't played for a little while because I also compose music and sometimes that takes a while. So I play every day, but I'm not necessarily working on a technique to a highest level. And this is where piano yoga really helps me. It keeps me back, it keeps me organized and my technique in place. So I very much invite you to embark on our journey. And if you want to try, uh, the challenge will be initially offered on our website, piano-yoga.com, where you will be introduced one exercise per day. And I also wanted to tell you that in, in general, there are six exercises, five of them are done away from the piano. So you can do them anywhere, in your living room, in your office, as long as you are in a warm environment, uh, so your fingers are not cold, your hands, and you can concentrate on what you are doing. And only one exercise is done at the piano. So if you would like to know more, please join me on my website piano-yoga.com.